this week we're looking at making homemade sea dressing mix. So, super simple ingredients, the first two buckets are homemade compost and the other two buckets are recycled mix that we've used time and time again. The original ingredients are half homemade compost and half garden soil just taken from the surface of a nice garden bed. <clears throat> this is the compost sifter, the first thing we made on the farm back in the day in 2005 and it just gets used all the time. We've yet to find a seed raising mix that can do what ours does. Aside from the cost, we can rely on this. Um, so it's a pretty simple design. The key, the key thing is short chains and the chains are set back from the end of the frame. This helps it return easily. And we have chosen a six millimeter woven stainless steel screen just to make this, the, the seed raising mix super fine. Um, the, the one thing it does is aerate, aerate your soil beautifully and it takes out any debris, any old root systems, anything that um, would interfere in the, in the mix just being super fine. Pretty, pretty simple design, the main concept just repeating short chains, gives you the return on the screen and underneath we have a chute that goes into the wheelbarrow. So we're putting four 20 litre buckets on top of the screen. This one we're making propagation mix, so half compost, half garden soil, and we just shake it until it is all sifted through into the wheelbarrow. Any debris on top, um, we, we take off and clean the screen before using it again. So we're making 80 litres um, at a time, Generally for microgreens, we, we're doing two sowings a week. Each sowing, we're using three wheelbarrows. That ends up being 30 square meters a year. If we purchase that, it would be $7,000. Um, so here's one wheelbarrow of mix, freshly aerated, ready to go into the propagation house and use. We will alter the, the moisture levels on it before filling trays, and it also sifts easier on the drier side, uh, as should form and hold and crumb nice and open when you loosen them again. Uh, we just wheel it into the our microgreens house where we do all propagation, for example tomatoes, cucumbers. We are recycling our um, seed raising mix from the microgreens just by putting it in big sacks uh, and letting it fully decompose before aerating it again. The beauty of a mix like this is really nice to work with and it gives you great soil to root contact, really nice transplants when you pop them out of the tray, ready to put them into the garden. Underneath the table here, this is where we store bulk propagation mix for propagation of anything that we're going to transplant, whereas we're making the microgreens mix for sowing the micros uh, each sowing as well. Um, this is originally from John Jevons' design. It is in one of his books, The Backyard, Mini Farm and Homestead book but you can't go wrong just remember short chains with the chains set back a fine screen will make a finer mix a wheelbarrow underneath it would be nice if this had a machine a motor and automated but it's still not a lot of work troubleshooting really difficult to sift the mix if it's saturated and wet we clean the screen between each batch of mix that we make and in our wet climate we try to make the mix and when it's sunny of time so when it's raining we can go into the propagation house and carry on with propagation. Um, first thing we made on the farm, the compost sifter and indispensable. We wish this was normal, um, we don't see many of these around. Have fun!